as we brace for impact for another reiteration of the supply chain issues caused by the lockdowns in China. It is apparent people of the world are beginning to awake to the idea that they need to gather essentials for their household and for the months to come. I believe the collective consciousness may not be fully informed, but aware that there is trouble in paradise. The world powers continue to play out their chess game on a global stage with us. The pawns in tow. I will lay out my theories here, backed up by factual and historical data, and you can form your own opinion. What is really going on here? China is home of seven of the 10 busiest seaports in the world. And with that being said, it's no surprise that we currently import about $458 billion worth of commodities from China, accounting for 21% of our total imports. Mexico comes in second with $291 billion at 13%. China gives us roughly 90% of our tablets and laptops and about 50% of our computers as a whole. This is paired with 80% of our cell phones and gaming consoles. Little known fact is that they are also our largest supplier of automated products, including robotics and control systems that are currently integrated with industrial farming and automobile manufacturing. You may ask what significant risk this poses to the United States and what threat could it pose in the future? This may not appear to be a direct risk on our calories as they land on our table or our agricultural production, but the threat is more of a cybersecurity of our industries, the moat around the castle, so to speak. I forecast a Trojan horse that affects the viability of our automated systems in terms of robotics and general technological and key industry infrastructure. The United States government has recently put out a formal warning to all agencies and industries that future cyber attacks are in our future. The time to harden our defenses is obviously now. But how are we supposed to do that when we rely on China for key elements from hardware to software that runs and controls the automation processes of our automated empire? Soon, our systems will be working on outdated hardware if the Chinese zero COVID policy remains bogging down imports that we rely on for keeping our technological systems cutting edge and up to date. And with the looming threat of cyber attacks and grid vulnerabilities, this does not bode well for hardening our defenses in all industries. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle, Sun Tzu, art of war. And recently, as of March this year, hackers linked to the Chinese government penetrated the networks belonging to government agencies of at least six different U.S. states in an espionage operation that took advantage of the vulnerability to access networks. Another recent report, as of April 14th, the U.S. government has warned that the Advanced Persistent Threat, APT, actors have fashioned tools capable of hijacking industrial devices deployed in critical infrastructure sectors. And I'll take this information back to the year of 2019 when we were on the pretense of the current days we are currently experiencing. It was reported that the United States federal government had suffered a huge data breach that had gone on for nine months undetected and was labeled the worst cyber espionage ever to be suffered by the U.S. Who was up to bat at that time? Originally, the suspects were, unsurprisingly, the Russians. Although, more information has come to light. This was the first domino to fall in the supply chain failure as Microsoft, SolarWinds, and VMware suffered data breaches affecting and adding to the pandemic supply chain crisis that all of us at the time were led to believe was solely based on lockdowns from a proposed two weeks to slow the spread. The latest from Hacker News, as of October 2021, Ravi Lakshman Nobelum, the threat actor behind the solar winds compromise in December 2020, has been behind an ongoing wave of attacks 
that has compromised 14 downstream customers of multiple cloud service providers, managed service providers, and other IT services organizations, illustrating the adversary's continuing interest in targeting the supply chain via compromise one to compromise many approach. Former Homeland Security Advisor Thomas P. Bossert warned that it could take years to evict the attackers from the U.S. networks, leaving them able to continue to monitor, destroy, or tamper with data in the meantime. Through a manipulation of software keys, the hackers were able to access the email systems used by the Treasury Department's highest ranking officials. This system, although unclassified, is highly sensitive because of the Treasury Department's role in making decisions that move the market, as well as decisions on economic sanctions and interaction with the Federal Reserve. This information seems interesting now given the current conflict. Did they know our every move? Truth be told, we've been in World War for a while now. It hasn't been boots or bullets. It's been cyber warfare and a logistical war. Foreign superpowers understand that he who controls the food controls the people and the future. Technology is merely the vessel. Everything that happens is in an effect of a massive game of chess that the global superpowers are playing against each other, and we are along for the ride. China and Russia have been preparing for every outcome, and with their recent outward show of the alliance that the two neighbors have, Seeing where this is going isn't hard to predict. The global powers have made their house ready. Have you?